Hello there and welcome to episode 40 of Koganaros, the Fortress by the Sea. I I really am surprised that it is already episode 40. <laughs> Time flies with this place. So today we're going to continue the construction of the many, many staircases of these insane pillars. I think a couple of these might get even finished today. When I look at this, I have a pretty good feeling. I mean, there's uh, only a couple of layers left that need completion here. So that means the last pillar will be probably even the first to be finished. I think that would be pretty fitting. Nevertheless, we got a lot of things on our plate today. First of all, I am going to continue the very careful deconstruction of this place here. That's We're doing this now layer by layer. And this way, I hope I can alleviate any further catastrophes. We have successfully deconstructed this entire nightmare here. So we're going to carefully dismantle the nightmare now. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. This went a little bit the wrong way, after all. So, my queen. My queen is something I wanted to take care of today as well. So, let's see, more coffins. I want to take some work into the many obsessions of my queen while these fine gentlemen and uh, ladies are doing their work here. So, the fortress makes good progress, but I felt like I wanted to check back with the city for one particular thing. I have opened up this area here. The royal engraver hasn't seen any opportunity to do his tasks here. Where is he actually? What is my engraver currently doing? He's by now Grandmaster Engraver. Seelop is getting uh, his uh, degree. And he's currently engraving the royal, or no, not the royal, <laughs> the, how should I call it? Well, the bridge tomb. The place where we commemorate the many fallen of this um, particular incident. Well, let's see where he's uh, going to stroll next. He's one of those dwarves that I like to follow a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, I guess he's preparing himself for his magnum opus in the Queen's Quarters. I bet that's what he's doing. So, my mining dwarves found some extra material here. That's also quite nice. We got so much gold to work with, and that brings me right to the next point. First of all, we're going to slap down more gold bars on the ground. Yeah. Because I'm worth it. So, here we go. The Queen's Tomb, you know. The Queen's Tomb. But this back side of the room now, I'll be transforming that now into a... Um, into a showroom for leggings and... coffins, as it seems, because I think that's a very, very smart idea from you guys. There we go. Just issuing a couple of extra smoothing jobs, so this place gets uh, beautied up as well. We're going to leave a natural gemstone back here in that area, too. I imagine that has a nice look. Okay. Now then. This time, I got more than enough gold available to smelt down. I mean, we are at the point where my smelters should be working permanently. Yeah, they're permanently smelting magnetite, bismuth, and gold nonstop. I have three smelters. They work permanently. I love it. We got, therefore, also way more of these bars than we can store, huh? Now, that's something I don't like. I feel like I, I should really take some attention again into the city itself. Sometimes in between, that also makes quite a lot of sense. Also, I noticed that we ran out of gnice. So let's fix that as well. There we go. There's one of my gnice pits. 
So, well, what I really love about this fortress is the fact that material is ubiquitously available. There's just so much stuff to excavate, because I know that the caverns, they don't come for 50 or 60 levels to go. I love this. Koganoros is a very special fortress. Very, very special. There we go. And, oh yeah, my my engraver has now decided to go for the probably biggest task of his life. So, we're lacking one thing, though. And that's the necessary displays. I wanted to check. How much bismuth do I have by now? Jeez. Here we go. So, 67 bars. Hmm. Not too much, isn't it? Wonder if... Well, bismuth bronze would be much better. Yeah, well, we're going to make our displays out of iron. Or pedestals. So, here we go. This is uh, one of the real neat parts when your fortress is in the magma stage, where you can just create whatever you want, as long as you have the metal. You don't need to worry about it anymore. And I personally think dwarves would be making a lot of things out of metal if you'd let them. All right, so we're going to have to wait until these uh, are done. That's totally okay. Oh, what is it now? Coffins. More coffins. Jeez. Sounds like the queen has now realized that a lot of people died. Luckily, the overseer of this fortress has already taken care of these problems. So the biggest problem now is that I need to wait until these deconstruction commands are done. But there is just so much commotion here permanently with all the construction commands that we got that there is just I have to wait until everything is finished. They're all busy now. They're holding dolomite blocks to the, to the side here. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I just realized that nobody was wheezing around here anymore. That can only mean that they actually done it. That's really good. Why on earth didn't... How did that come together? Okay. Well, that's something we got to finish up. Because these are obviously important. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy once these parts are finally all done. And sometimes there's this weird work order that just doesn't want to get completed. I wonder how that comes together. It looks as if somebody wants to do the job, but as a matter of fact, nobody ever gets to it. I don't know. But what I do know is that the majestic bedrooms of our tavern are being completed. Nice. So, why are you naked? Brr. So, let's see if something fixes when I do that. Oh, yeah, here. You go and pick up a iron battle axe. Sometimes when they lose a uh, personal weapon, they are searching it for it forever. But at the same time, I've also made the experience. It is sometimes basically just worth it to let the dwarf in question die with his uh, crappy gear. Because these uh, items, they, they, uh, they tend to bring a lot of problems, these named items. I really wish that dwarves wouldn't get attached to weapons after all, because basically, sometimes these items get lost and the dwarf in question doesn't realize it got lost and then he keeps searching for it, like uh, it's his uh, 
personal precious treasure. And that's where all the trouble begins. Because this one dwarf doesn't want it anymore. But now I deleted it from his preferences. He's grabbing a new weapon, but I can tell you one thing. As long as they have this individual choice melee thing going on. You see, the next one wants this item. And this is like a curse. As long as they uh, think that this item is accessible, they will be hell-bent on doing whatever they can to, to grab that item. And if they are not busy with it anymore, the next one will be busy with, busy with it. It's, uh, it's terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now, we got the raw glass here. And this young gentleman is cutting the gems into gemstones. So that's working on out as we want to. We just don't seem to have the logistics uh, covering these yet. Say, can I tell this guy to pick up? No, he can't. He, he does have to pick up from a stockpile. I'm frankly said confused though why these are not getting transported into here. So, ah, because he can only give to. Yeah, no, I do get it. So now the workshop can give to the other um, stockpile as well. I think I can also just delete these from this uh, work from this workstation because this guy is just for the class cutting. Yeah, now they get hold. And now that job should finally fire off. Let's try it. Yes. Nice. So, let's see, the kiddo is hauling all manner of fine things into his possession there. This looks heavy. Gold bars. <laughs> Alright, he must have seen them the whole time. And we got... Oh, that's interesting. Pedestals are being transported here. That means if I let them there long enough... There might be a chance of them getting decorated. <laughs> Fun. So we're now going to put some some displays up here. There we go. And we got a ghost. Shorast. Now then, let's I love this. Oh, he actually... Wow, this is an amazing feature. DF hack now allows me to engrave these before the ghosts spawn. That's really cool. That is a wonderful feature. So, the kiddo begun his mysterious construction. I'm going to check that out once we are done with the slab. Wait with the slap production. Okay, there it goes. And this will be obviously put up here. Because this is, after all, the moment memorial for the people who died while the rich accident happened, so it'll only only make sense this way. All right, so you guys, you're hauling Gabro blocks here, and let me guess, oh coffins, she's crazy about coffins nowadays. That's two, right? Okay. But it seems to me as I know as if nobody was uh, 
heading to construction here anymore. They're just delivering blocks. And that's a little bit uh, weird because we have plenty of work orders still here left to do. So let's see. Ah, uh, well, I do see what comes here. There's only a very few Gabbro blocks. And as soon as a Gabbro block has been uh, seen here, the next best constructor comes on by and uh, does something with that. So everything is A-OK. -okay. So... Is this already the next one? No. So I meant to check back with the kiddo. So some raw gemstone, lots of gold bars. Okay. Curious to see what that's going to be. So the good part here is now that our low quality statuary is now going to be improved. A reindeer bone figurine of a dog? Yes, of a dog. All right. The artwork relates to the slaughter of a dog. Come on, get over it. They were just too many. Can't keep every dog. So they, they took all the time to make an artifact just to go over this. Just realized that it can't give me some extra space here. Or you know what, I'll better not. <laughs> I don't think it is actually um, Aquiferous, but part of me just got scared about the what if. Now then. There's too many rock salt boulders around here. So, but I am all stocked out with rock salt. Imagine that. We're basically done with that part of the uh, interior, aren't we? Damn. So, what to do with all the excess rock salt? Oh yeah, I have an idea. We just slap more stockpots in the door for it. <laughs> Problem solved. If you don't have enough room for something, create more room. Genius, isn't it? So, jokes aside, our fortress uses rock salt doors, so I just need to create more doors here. But I need to check back with one thing every now and then. Here. Gabbro. You see, the my my whole construction endeavors live and die with this stuff here but luckily there's still of this stuff here enough of this stuff here jeez talking is hard well so who's the angry dwarf the axe dwarf is the angry dwarf so yeah i could give him something to do but i'm too lazy craft object so oh now that's an interesting thing that happens here that dwarf happens to be naked that's i think because of his uh of the fact that he's still part of the bronze mornings the bronze mornings i do remember that squad i did uh i did feed, I, I did run these so this guy Mestos, we're going to make him a new commander of a squad. Because that is, as far as I can see, the only way to make this poor guy naked no more. And as it seems, there's also somebody of the Crystalline Clutches, who's also no longer in duty. So, these poor guys, they should be now able to get pick up their gear again and we're just going to assign them somewhere later down the road or tell you what we're going to can i assign two squads to the same barracks yes so the bands of metal they will be just training here there we go So, turns out we got more dolomite blocks than 
everything else. I think I need to paint that uh, storage stockpile a little bit bigger. Okay, what a weird coincidence. But at some point, I think the stockpiling of the dolomite blocks should end because we are no longer producing more of them. I mean, I do have a threshold after all. Sure, this could be all a little bit better optimized, but... It's running, so I'm happy. That's how I like to look at it. So that means my stone workshops should now be capable of making gneiss blocks, of course, for the rest of the city, which is, frankly said, way overdue. The people in the lower levels here have been waiting for their, um, for their paving since ages, so... Yeah, so let's go. Um, leggings, let's see. Leg wear. Trousers, no. Don't you dare to t speak of these nasties. Greaves. Here we go. Fine leggings, jeez. So I think I need to do this that here yeah. so we can assign a couple of these here all over the place we're only going to assign the real masterworks here though and for the rest of them we have to wait a little bit and of course there will be coffins all over the place Yeah, why not an artifact coffin at this place, too? Due to the many orders I got, plenty of different materials here. So we can make basically here a kind of a museum of various types of uh, coffins. Probably should make some leggings out of various materials now, too, so we can display more variety here. And of course, this is all going to be her tomb at the end of the day. There we go. Boom. Take that, queen. So, what could be better? Hmm? What could be better? All right. So, my little ants here are running back and forth carrying Gabra blocks by now though so we're done with the part where we're uh, making mostly the materials that I'm not after and here check this out the deconstruction efforts are are on the way that's very good so I'm taking it very slowly here so there's now open space and now we do the deconstruction commands on this side here and if I do this level by level I'm convinced that nobody has to die <laughs> this bridge has already had more than enough human sacrifice uh, dwarven sacrifices I think this was just the mistake that I did that I made the last time so more leggings wonderful so let's check out what kind of uh, metals I got hey Let's make something exciting. So first of all, we make some gold leggings because, duh. Oh, here we go. Or you cannot make gold leggings. Damn, that's a, that's a shame. So well, turns out I don't have that many metals that I can work with. Let's see. Yeah, the her madness is uh, going over on me. So there's bronze, bronze, brass. These should be materials we can work with. Bronze, at least. Nothing else. Too bad. 
but we're going to make at least two pieces of bronze leggings. What, what gifts, you know? And these can be put on display. All right, filling this place a little bit with life, you know? It's just very important, I think, those little things. Of course, uh, genius architecture and engineering feats are also exciting, but yeah, you get the idea. All right, so as it seems to me, we're making steady progress here. The fortress is uh, having less backlog now, as I, as I think. And we might be safely capable of deconstructing the rest of this today. Because finally, workforce is available uh, again. I mean, this is one of the biggest problems of this fortress that I ha happen to suffer from a steady deprivation of workforce here. But I mean, with this uh, sick kind of project, this is uh, really no wonder. All right. Oh, this is good. This is so nice to see, especially since nobody's dying this time. So blanket deconstruction is something that DF hack doesn't manage for you. Lesson learned. One day it will for sure. I'm pretty sure that DF hack will learn this as well. But that day ain't today. And the best part about it all is that we're freeing up fresh Gabro blocks for the rest of the construction here. Mm -hmm. So I think we're only a few more episodes away from the real completion of this place. Because now we're already pretty much at the point where only the wall casings are left and the pump stacks. So, brilliant progress. And with all the extra free um, workforce that is no longer needed on all the other stone blocks. I mean, we've, we are constructing here titanic staircases, and these are also binding a lot of workforce. Once these are done, if I am not mistaken, this should be really not that much of a big deal anymore, but maybe I'm, I'm taking this with caution. I've been thinking that some things were not much of a big deal since a very, very long time with this project. And look where we are at now. I mean, it's still a lot of a, a whole big deal. What bothers me the most is that I recently discovered by the wisdom of a good and wise commenter that I could have had the other side of the continent on this map as well if I only would have uh, went into settings like these. I don't know where it is, but... Uh, somewhere here so i don't know if i can change the uh, embarkation size should be here maximum embark dimension this is what i have been lacking so now i could restart <laughs> at the other side of the coastline and on the map but I just had to point, point, bring that up. I didn't know it before I started, so now I'm 20 hours more in. I don't want to restart at this point, but I'll be memory. Uh, I'll keep be keeping that in my memory for the next time I do this. A stray cat has been found dead. Huh? What killed the cat, though? Well, whatever. And we got finally the dismantling of this thing done. So now the only thing that's left to do is to dismantle the staircases. And this is something that we got to do careful yet again, because otherwise everything will fall on our heads again. Uh, well. But at least... I think somebody is dying right now again. Oh, you buffoons. So... All right. Uh, 
Okay. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, I think you might be, uh... Yeah. Alright, so deconstructing places here. As I see more and more, or I have to accept more and more, it is a very, very dangerous task. So we lost again two of our miners here. But uh, this time it even took one of my legendary miners. No! Not like this! Damn it. So we have to assign new miners. Yeah. Bridge is taking another victim, but we're getting used to that. So, my good friends, it is time to say goodbye for today. I'll be returning next time. Hope you enjoyed the show. So, leave me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And next time, we will get there and make sure that people will survive this somehow. Feel free to check out Patreon, Paypal, and buy me a coffee. I'd be really delighted if you'd give them a look. And of course, a big thanks to all the supporters. See you all next time. I learned yet another lesson about deconstruction, and I hope you did too. See you there. Bye-bye.